EV Base has a new adapter to be able to charge our Chevy Bolt at a Tesla supercharger. We're going to test it out. We've already reviewed a Nax to CCS adapter from EV Base, but this is a new design. Uh, this one looks more like uh, the type of adapter that you actually get from Tesla through the manufacturer. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the box and show you what it comes with. So we've got a nice welcome letter, a little bit of paperwork that shows you how to, how to go about uh, connecting it, and then some packaging. A soft carrying bag for storage so you don't have to carry the box around. And here is the actual adapter that has instructions as a sticker on the, on the back side to tell you how to plug it in in case you didn't know. So you take the supercharger cable, plug it in here. There's the locking uh, right there. And then you're able to plug in here, uh, plug into the car, and that's the lock release there. A couple of months ago, we reviewed this adapter, and as you can see, this looks a little bit more like the, the A to Z adapter. It's a little longer here. Uh, this is the new one that they just sent me, and you can see that this new one is gonna take up less space. So if you're concerned about space in storage, this one might be the one for you. This one also has the, uh, the lock release right here to get it off of the cable, whereas this one does not. So this one, if you're, if you're more interested in the lock, the new one would be the way to go. So we've already tested this one out and I'm just gonna link that video for you, but we're, gonna, we're at a Tesla supercharger, same one that we tested this one, and we're gonna test this one out to see how well it charges. The car is a right around 40% state of charge, so we should get the maximum speed of a little over 50 kilowatts. Uh, so we'll go over, set it up, and see how well it charges. So I'm gonna open up my Tesla app, charge your other EV. Search location, Edgecliff Village, that's where we're at. Charge here, and we are at stall 1A. So I'm gonna hit start charging on my phone. Take out the cable, plug it into the adapter. We are connected to the car. It may take up to two minutes to start charging, so we'll see, there we go. There's our beep. The car is accepting power. The app is showing me a charge rate of one kilowatt, now up to 29 kilowatts. 52, uh, so there we go. On the app, I'm, I'm seeing 52 kilowatts. Let's confirm that in the car. 53 kilowatts according to the car. So we are getting maximum charge speed uh, for this car. So um, we're at this uh, Taco Casa and Exxon gas station. We're gonna do a couple of things here for a few minutes and unplug and see how much power we got in that amount of time. So we're up to 47%. We've been here for 11, minute, 11 and a half minutes, almost nine kilowatt hours delivered. We're still getting 53 kilowatts uh, of speed. We're, the charge is starting to fill up, so we're gonna go ahead and unplug. So to unplug it, you push on the, the gray button and then it comes out. Then I can release the lock. That's done. You can hang the supercharger back up. Have a little bit of heat on this, but it's also really hot. It's the 1st of July in North Texas, so it's not necessarily gonna be cold. I'm pretty sure the charger handle was hotter than this. So that is this new um, Nax to CCS1 adapter from EV Base. Uh, pretty compact, easy to operate. If you're interested in it, I've got the link down in the description, and if you enter the promo code SPINNER, you can receive an additional discount off of your purchase. Thanks for watching.